Let's go. Patience got a solid place in my mind. Sometimes I sit back and think, am I wasting my time? Climbing to success like Peter Parker's son. Yeah, I'm exhausted, but I'm far from done. Street, a place where people in the community can come in and talk about things that are affecting them. And today, especially, we have someone has come in, a, a, a young person, as they say, in the community. Um, I was doing a, a summer camp over in Fort Long, in Fort Long Community Centre, and I met Evan, who's a rapper. And he's actually an up-and-coming uh, rapper. You, you've had lots of success, actually. Yeah. And um, would you like to tell me a little bit about what rap is first? Rap is an expression of your personality, like... You could be, you could talk about your pain, and you could talk about your friends and your family. Like basically, you can talk about anything and make a rhyme. So when you say anything, like it's, it's whatever's going on in your life. Yeah, basically whatever's on your mind, what problems are yeah. bugging you. Well, that's another thing actually. When I think of rap, right, I think of anger and I think of guys kind of sh shouting and guys getting shot and everything like that. <laughs> so I mean, is is that what rap is about? No, like y some rap, like. N not necessarily all rap, like some rappers like that, because that's what people are experiencing, you know what I mean? But like, if they're successful for like more than half of their life, they're going to make songs that are happy, yeah. you know? So would you s w would you have seen, say like in, in American, that, like the likes of Eminem and... Um yeah, like Eminem's early stuff, he'd talk about like his problems and all, but now he wouldn't talk about any of that, he'd talk about what's going on in his life now. Like yeah, like all his daughter and that kind the of thing. The good life, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, actually, he, he's really, like, he's turned his, his whole kind of life around, you know. But um, you're saying, like, that's coming out of your, your life and that. You know, obviously, you have different phases. Everyone has different phases in their lives. They're kind of up and they're down and that kind of thing. So would you have started when you were down? Yeah, definitely. It was like, I got bullied when I moved out here. When I moved out to Blanchestown. Like, I did, I did live in Pierce Street when I was, like, very young. But then when I moved out here, I got bullied. And I just used to sit in my room all day. I didn't bother coming out and just write raps. So when you were being bullied, was that just because you had come from a different area, or? Yeah, I think it was because I was the new kid, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, they didn't like who it was. Like yeah. it was not because I had a bad attitude, or anything. It was like, yeah. like uh, most people told me that I was a good kid. It's just they didn't like it. I mostly got slapped because of my glasses. I got yeah. the, mud, the famous one, the Milky Bar kid. I have to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be really honest. Yes, I could see why they would say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but out of that, you know, instead of getting really, really depressed. Instead of picking up a pole, basically, I picked up a pen. Yeah. yeah. And, and you just put it all into the music. Yeah. yeah. Now, you have actually, you were very good. You, you brought in the CD for us to, to, to listen to and that. So we're going to just have a, a quick listen to, to one of the raps that you've done. Yeah. As a kid, all I did to perfection was being myself by opening up and expressing every little feeling I felt. Picked on me because they knew the guy with the arms like a girl can't fight. I was about to explode unexpectedly like first. Yeah. 